hey, don't watch. If you actually didn't do this yet, don't watch this. You shouldn't be watching this. Bad. Okay. But if you have already finished, uh, let's talk about it. So four sources, potential sources for where the majority of the mess of this wood came from. Water. So yes, um, a tree is made of, and you're like, yeah, I did it. No, that's actually not the right answer. So yeah, a tree is almost 50% water weight um, when it's standing and living. But actually this piece of wood, this chunk of wood is no longer 50% water. Um, it would be, there's very little water actually left in this, in this processed wood here. So that is not the right answer. And yes, water does have mass. And yes, water is actually really heavy. Um, but it is, it's, it's not the answer to where the mass of this one came from. Sunlight is also not the answer, although a very important process or part of the process um, of photosynthesis. So sunlight is ultimately the um, source of energy. And the plant, you can think about it as taking like sun energy and um, converting it into chemical energy, which is the actual molecules that the wood is made out of, like lignin and um, cellulose and also it creates glucose out of like directly. Anyway. <clears throat> Going too deep. So sunlight is not the answer because sunlight does not have um, mass. There, it doesn't have mass and there's some cool physics behind that, but uh, it is not sunlight. That is the energy, but not the mass. So soil, um, again, is, is important. We, we saw in this experiment that, um, that plants don't grow very well without certain minerals from the soil, like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, coal, there's also micronutrients like cobalt and um, magnesium and things like that. So it, they can grow a little bit, but they're not going to survive very long or thrive without minerals on the soil. But if we go back to Van Helmont's original experiment, he only found the change of mass in soil to be like... A couple of ounces, you know, so it doesn't contribute very much to the actual mass of the plant. All right, last but not least, right? Air. So, what gases are in air? There's a ton oxygen, nitrogen makes up like 70% of the atm atmosphere, actually. Nitrogen, we breathe in mostly like nitrogen, argon, um, helium. Uh, H2O, water, right, um, methane. But there's also a lot of CO2 in the air. Actually, there's 420 parts per million uh, CO2 in the air currently, right, carbon dioxide. And yes, air does have mass. If you blow up a balloon and you uh, compare the mass of the blown up balloon to a non-blown up balloon, that, that, that balloon that's blown up actually weighs more. So it, air does have mass. Um, and that's like what air pressure is about. Um, that's why I like when you boil water at the top of the mountain, it takes less long to boil because there's less pressure from the air, or sorry, longer. Um, and this is the answer, this is the answer. The majority of the mass of this wood comes from the air. It comes from the CO2 in the air. So this experiment is some good evidence for that, right? Because the plants, um, if they're given more carbon dioxide, you can see their total mass increases. So the shoots and the roots, um, incre the shoots increase way more um, based on the amount of CO2 that is pumped into that greenhouse. And this is uh, measuring the dry weight per plant in grams. And so they're directly related to each other's CO2 and mass. So that's great evidence there. And then also just logically, let's think about that. Like what's the air? Plants are turning air and, turning, and, and making it into like wood and stuff and this really heavy material. and Yes, like the carbon atom from CO2 is being broken off and then put into, um, and then like put it with other carbons and hydrogens and all the oxygen, and it's being turned into glucose. And that's a food source for our cells and for the, the, the tree's cells, the plant cells. And that glucose is then broken down for cellular energy and also um, the, the molecule, or sorry, the atoms of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen are re, um, reformed into the molecules that make up this wood, like lignin and cellulose, like I mentioned earlier. So yeah, the majority of the mass of this chunk of wood comes from the air. Van Helmont in your face. <laughs>